Six, in right triangle ABC, B is a right angle. I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit. So here's A, here's C. The length of side AC is 12. The measure of A is 40. So that means that's 50, because they got to add up to 180. B is a right angle. Which the following information, or which the following can be determined using the information given. Can I get the measure of C? Well, yes, I got that already. So uh, one is true. Now what about the side, length of side AB? Now, it's not obvious by looking at it, but since I have this angle, I can use trigonometry, Sokotoa, to find that missing side. So indeed, you might say, well, I don't have two sides. How can I use Pythagorean theorem? Yeah, you can't do the Pythagorean theorem, but you can use Sokotoa. You can use trigonometry. For example, you don't need to solve this, but you could say um, the cosine of 40, we'll call that x, is equal to x over 12, adjacent over hypotenuse. So you could solve that. You can solve that for x, and that would tell you that length. So you can get both. Choice C. 7, line L is a slope of 2. K is perpendicular. What's the equation of line K? So if K is perpendicular, its slope is the opposite reciprocal of line L's slope. So the slope of K is the flip of 2. Take the reciprocal of it and change its sign. So it's negative a half. So right away, A and B are out. Uh, it also contains the point 4, 2. So at this point, I could find the y-intercept, or you could just plug in this point into C or D and see which one works. And when I plug it into C, it doesn't work because I get 2 equals negative 2. But for D, I will get 2 equals negative 2 plus 4, which is true. Again, if you were to graph this or find the y-intercept otherwise, you would verify that D is the answer. So 7 is D. 8. The given equation relates the variables C, X, and Y, where these things are true. What expresses Y in terms of C and X? So I just got to rearrange this to get Y by itself. So I have this. I'm just going to start by cross multiplying. So I'm going to get CY is equal to X. Now I'll divide both sides by C. So I can get Y by itself and I get X over C. Choice D. Nine, the function F is a linear function. The Y intercept is that. What is the y-intercept of the graph of f of x plus 2? Okay, so we have some line, y equals mx plus b. But I know that this line uh, is y or f of x equals mx minus 12, because I know that's the y-intercept. So this is equal, I'll just call this f of x, actually. So I want to know now, what if I just take my function, mx minus 12, and I add 2 to it, well, that means I'm going to have mx minus 10, and so now my y-intercept for this line is negative 10. I can get rid of c and d immediately because I need my y-intercept to have x-coordinates of 0. So it comes down to a versus b, and from this we can get choice b. 10, what are the x-intercepts of this? So x-intercepts are where y equals 0, and if you wanted to, you could just plug these in. But I'm just going to go ahead and solve where y equals 0. Uh, so I'm going to get 0 equals x plus 3 times x minus 2 over x. I can just multiply both sides by x to get this, and it's already factored for us, which is really nice. So I'm getting two possibilities, 2 and negative 3. And so therefore, both of those points should work. So that should be 1 and 2. Choice C.